Welcome to Crucial Classics, where we watch movies from the golden age of Hollywood together. You bring your own copy. We both push play, and let's enjoy the magic. The advantage of being a subscriber is you'll have the ability to watch these movies for free on the original sites that I find them from, but either way, you can always watch along because you're bringing your own copy. Hi, and welcome back to Crucial Classics. If this is your first time here, welcome. We start by looking at the wall of the living room. It's decorated like this because old movies are important for the past 32 years. So today's title, um, let me look up the specifics of this movie so that we can get some of that backstory and then let's just get started. Ah, okay, people see this is also what I'm telling, I absolutely cannot see you so I don't even, it's hurting my eyes to look at the camera. Uh, the quality of movies that are coming, you just want to be subscribed, you want to have your notifications turn on four stars, okay, from this man, he doesn't do that. Okay. And this is going to be a movie, I have seen it, so this is a four-star rating that I absolutely agree with. John Ford, okay. John Wayne, Maureen O'Hara, blah da 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 let's see. American boxer Wayne returns to Native Ireland, wins over townsfolk, and tames strong-willed O'Hara, boisterous Blarney, with beautiful scenery, and equally beautiful music by Victor Young. Okay, let's pay attention to that. Maurice Walsh's story was scripted by Frank Nugent, Oscar winner for director Ford and cinematography by Winton Hawk and Arnie Stout. Wow, Archie Stout. That's cool. So best director and best cinematography. Wow. Okay, let me pay attention to that. I don't know that I've ever watched it for that feeling overwhelmed by the cinematography but, but i love cinematography so let me pay attention to that it doesn't matter i will just be knowing but i'll be watching the oscar winner for the cinematography for that year um great technicolor i do let's pay attention this i think i've pointed this out before you know color happens in these movies and it's not always technicolor Look, I was starting to watch Johnny Guitar. I don't think we're going to get to that one and get it uploaded onto the channel before the free link to it comes off of the site. It's on Pluto TV. They've moved it over into their last chance to watch Batch, though, and I just have too much content to get to before I think we'd be able to get to it. But it was a movie that Joan Crawford did with Republic, which is John Wayne's studio. And I was so surprised to see that Joan Crawford did anything with that studio, number one. I thought nobody really made movies there but John Wayne, and by that far into making Johnny Guitar, I is like John Wayne an owner at Republic? So then, anyway, they were doing the opening credits, and it said color, and it wasn't by Technicolor. So, right, it's like Technicolor, I feel like, is top grade premium color touching of a film, and that's what we get in this. I didn't even catch the year. What's the year? So anyway, you know what I mean? It's like there's definitely the option to not use color in your film in this era. Um, and so when they do that, I think that that's amazing. Um, okay, so yeah, go ahead, guys. Take a look around on the channel. We've got plenty enough content for you to be able to binge. But help me out. I just need to say this to you guys like my videos if you like them just be this is just a tip for you guys as youtube viewers this platform right it's different than watching abc nbc we are content creators we work hard here and there's a lot of kind of things that we need help from you as the viewer to help our channels um, because it's like it's weird stuff it's almost as if our channels can get buried if there isn't also engagement from the viewer. So th seriously, guys, and I'm telling you, take this mindset just throughout the platform because I'm sure if you're here, you watch other things here on YouTube, just be mindful of kind of your responsibility as a viewer on YouTube is to be active. You do have to engage a bit, right? That's the reason why there's the ability to subscribe to people's channels, but really what is very helpful to these people that you might enjoy their content is to be active find the like button okay like I know that sometimes it either is or isn't visible but that's I'm talking about be active go out of your way if you need to to get on the different platform okay I don't see it on my phone let me go to my computer if it's, let me use it on my TV and I will say the other day the like button was acting crazy for me 
I was trying it on all of those different platforms and I was pushing the button and it wouldn't register on my videos. So I get it. But if you guys could, please, if you do enjoy the content, go out of your way to put that engagement onto my content. It just is what you can do to help. Okay. It's all for free for you. So it's all for free for you. But I mean, like that's just period watching YouTube. But you guys, I know you appreciate the way that these movies that I'm bringing to you, I am going out of my way to source these movies for you. Like, probably I'm hoping bringing to your attention that you have free access to these movies, okay? Um, that's extra work that I'm doing, bringing you guys as much free content as I can. That being the case, though, let me ask you for some extra added support. Hopping over onto our member site, content will just continually be growing over there. We make wishes. We watch every movie that we're all bringing our own copy to do. But let's look at that commercial really quick. So yeah, just check it out. Again, that's an excellent way for you guys to give me your requests for what you would like us to watch over there. Enough said, let's get ready to watch the movie. Let me get in position, playing in three, two, one, click. Oh, ways to watch the movie. Watch, you can do two tabs, me in one, movie in the other, pull the movie over to take up more of the screen. Um, or you do picture in picture on me, shrink me down, put me in the corner of the movie. That is the way I will be watching along all of these videos that we're getting ready to do. I will be in the bottom corner of these full screen beautiful movies. Okay, so. Okay, let me get situated. We'll be counting down, watching together. Okay, here we go. Playing in three, two, one, click. Woo! -hoo! Okay, we got a little Irish jig song. Herbert J. Yates, he's the producer. John Ford and Marion C. Coopers. Why do they call him? What's the deal of the quiet man? Okay, let's just, is this adapted from a novel? I want to see that. I don't know if I gathered that. Oh, this music is beautiful. Wow. What a gorgeous scene this is right here too. Um, is it gonna be that he's the quiet man? Like look, uh, Victor Young, we saw that. Maureen O'Hara is crazy in this movie, okay. And so she's very technicolor, yep. She's very boisterous. Um, Adele Palmer does the costumes. Is it that John Wayne is quiet because he's not as um, boisterous as this little town full of people that he's going to encounter? He worked with John Ford a bit, huh? I feel like it's kind of like the way Bogart worked with that other guy, with Houston, right? I am freaking hot as all get out. My goodness. <laughs> I'm like, who's saying this? Well, dang, that's late. Oh, so they can't tell that he's um, a tourist, but they would because they could tell that he's new to this town. They just also can tell he don't look like a tourist. Ooh. 
okay, you know what? Who said yank? They know her. He's a Yankee. He doesn't have an Irish accent, huh? Wow, okay. get there it seems like that's where he needs to get to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what in the world okay the quiet man I get it that's not a quiet scene that he is just being led away from does this man have a fishing pole in his hand well they don't even notice that he's walked away Did he lose him? He did. There he is. Well, well um, why do you wonder that? Like, what is it that it's not supposed to be gone to? How cool this is really there. This is obviously this is really Ireland. <laughs> they probably wouldn't give it like cinematography. This is crazy. Just like in the Rainmaker, it's six foot. He's like, yeah. Okay, so he's six four. Excuse me. I guess we always can tell that John Wayne is really, really tall, but okay, that's what. Did he say six, four and a half? Oh, okay. Well, they haven't introduced themselves to each other. Wait, so because he's six foot six, is he like gonna be really tall against everybody else? Not quite. I remember somebody he ain't like two feet taller than. Oh. oh, he's supposed to remember it. What is it, his family home? How cute! So he was here when he was a little boy. Oh, he didn't know this old man. Yeah, he wouldn't know him from... <laughs> to six for a... some of this lotion. So he's home to stay? It sounds like he's coming to buy his old family house. He's moving back to Ireland? Well, I mean, you're not going to buy a house to not be there, right? So he totally knew that man's name.
tall, yeah. Is this the dude from Gone with the Wind? Yep. He's a father. We'll see that in under Capricorn. Oh. That's really cool that he remembered Micheline. I'm just still tripping on that. So he wasn't so little when he left that he doesn't remember. Like, to see it, hear his mom's words saying, you remember what it looked like. And he knew that old man. Oh, all right. He's getting bewitched. That red hair. Huh? Oh, look at her. She saw him right away, too. Uh, okay. Uh, love at first sight. That's what we just got captured beautifully. What a movie for the Irish culture, huh? Like, Irish people are very proud of being Irish, right? Everybody's proud of being who they are, but this is a great movie for your culture, right? Oh! <laughs> oh, well, why didn't you tell him like that? Is she not available or something? I mean, he was really blocking right there. So they did not at all speak to each other, huh? What, do they have to have, like, an ability to be introduced to one another? Like, was it not appropriate that he would have spoken to her? Or definitely not her to him, huh? Oh, they're already ready for him? Do they already know that this Yankee is coming to Innisfree? Is this it? would you pronounce it? <laughs> Is it maybe just cone? I don't I don't know how else you would have pronounced that. Okay, he's in church and this is her right here too. Like I know you better not be looking around at her like five pews behind you let's go to church oh okay he does this is his only excuse to see her oh okay he kept it moving that is very respectful yes yeah, just go to church to go to church come on now why is she there by her cell phone i mean doesn't she have any family like she was sitting there all by herself does not have to be introduced to her. <gasps> oh, but maybe it is highly inappropriate that he is talking to her. Oh, he was trying to give her her holy water. Yeah, now, come on, now. That was quite a bit much. Yeah, it was, she's a good girl. <laughs> Yeah. 
Right, that wasn't cool. No. That was scandalous, Mary Kate. <laughs> well, why? Is she engaged? Why? Yeah. Right. care about her fortune. That is not one part of what is interesting him about her. Her freckles. You know, he wants those freckles. Mm. This is who he said she doesn't want to sell it. Just once. Well, it seems like you bought up all the land. Who's this dude at the fireplace? Ew. He is, okay, very, very, very tall, too. Is he taller than John Wayne? Uh. He won't address him? She really isn't trying to sell it. He's, oh, close to an understanding. <gasps> oh, hey, little. get in somebody's book, huh? Oh, she got this table full of men. Yeah, nobody goes to church with her. She called him a squint. <laughs> Damn, she is serving this food to them mad. This is not cooked with love. <laughs> well, and she said if you would pass the pub as fast as the chapel. Who's this dude? He's related to her? 
I've only seen this movie once. Who is this dude to her? He's literally putting... Oh, wow. He... She don't play with the, um, he literally puts it in a book. It's right next to them. I see what um, he was saying to the widow. Ah. Oh, so they know who he is. She already knows who Sean Thornton is. She knows his name. She knows his family's history and all this stuff. Who is this her old? Like oldest brother? Oh damn. attitudes, huh? Well, just the one. I mean, is this a little hotel or something? Why was he asking if his bags were okay to be there? Oh! Damn, so this is Innisfree though, right? They do not like him. What's the problem? Oh, that's sweet. Oh, well, that's cool. Because otherwise, full, it, it wasn't okay, right? So, he's just home, right? Like, he's allowed to be here, right? Otherwise, I guess not. Actually, these men are tall. Oh, quiet. just going through his things. They already were. Wow. Okay. Well, he asked if his stuff would be okay there, but I don't think that he is down with them just going through it like that. come in here and act a fool. Do their families have beef or something in history?
Because he was telling the widow, like, you should sell the house to me because it's right next to mine. And they literally can see it through the window. Why is he a hater? See, that's what it is. This dude that's with him is very little compared to him. Victor McLaughlin. Oh, this fool be putting names in the book. Right. Oh, he took it as a threat. What are you moving? Okay, that's his sister. talking shit about her in this pub, he said. Yeah, it, it was so scandalous. You don't do the, yeah, you don't do that with the holy water, dude. It was scandalous. Oh, those are fighting words? Okay, oh, it's, ah, oh, it's on. Oh, are they about to bet? Esquire, that's like a lawyer. Is he a lawyer? Oh, he's trying to break his hand. He won't do it, huh? I come around? cute okay so Mary Kay is his sister no people he was very much a Yankee man in Ireland just he that was the most scandalous thing I've ever seen with the holy water and she took it too though huh so everybody already has heard about all of that He scooped it up and put it in his hand for her. To, <gasps> yeah, no, that was not. It was. I just. That was blasphemous. 
we are already in an era where we only see certain things in film and that just pushed the bounds. So it's just these two walking along. Is this the only way to get to his little house is on foot like this? Well, yeah, you couldn't drive a car over this little bridge. Aww. How special. About what? Does it need a lot of work? He's got to go get into his house if he wants to change his mind. Like, yeah, if he has a sleeping bag, what, are we going to see, like, it totally needs work? Has it just been sitting here abandoned? So that lady owned it, but she's just letting it go to crap. Seems like a fire is happening. Is he worried if they're, like, going to try and burn his house down? Is this, like, a straw roof or something? Oh, it's been starting to get cleaned up. Mary Kay? <gasps> oh, does he see her? Is she just airing it out for him? Where is she in proximity to him that, like, she sees him but he does not see her? And she doesn't speak, huh? What, was she trying to be obviously in and out before he got here? Oh, he knows somebody's in here though, but he's worried. right Mary Kate all right all right <laughs> kissing you girl yeah Don't kiss her too hard like that again, though, John Wayne. She's a good girl. Oh, oh okay. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> good gosh, the wind. Is this just a normal day? Is there not like a tornado watch in effect, like a weather advisory? I mean, that just seemed like Tuesday, right? So yeah, he's got to patch up some stuff. Oh, that's that old man up there. So, okay, he's here, he bought this house, but what's he gonna do? Doesn't he need to, like, work this land or something, or? Oh, who is this? Oh, who 
closet. I was wondering if people would talk crap about his green. So he's a reverend. That other dude is the father. That dude is also a poet. What is oh, Mary Kate peeking about? Is it furniture for his house? Okay, yeah. And she's all up in peeking it. Well, he's a big dude. Oh, but um, <laughs> he's setting up his house uh, for her too. Well, this looks like a California king. Look at that, yeah. Did he say to catch his wife in a bed like that? Yes, he did, right? We know he did. Was this dude drunk? I thought that... This old dude was the one up fixing the roof. Clean. He is wasted, huh? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> oh, he's playing the little matchmaker. She don't she don't wanna be dressed like that, right? With her big old blanket. Oh, Sean asked him to do this. Doesn't she want to go get ready? You know she would want it. <gasps> really? You need more. Which she has wine. <laughs> this is their little house. That's interesting. From the front, it looks like the little businesses in that town. Huh? That was her house. On the outside of it. It's just, yeah, leave that bottle. He's going to, like, take the bottle and not that little glass. So 
So she still just needs her invite information from this fool. Does he need to get his little book back out? <laughs> right, uh, down. <laughs> down. <laughs> um. Why does that make her mad? Or is she feeling okay? She's got a bad temper. Well, does she have it? Why is, okay, um, so she ain't even gonna do any part of this little negotiation. Oh. She's just giving him the inventory. Does he need to be writing this down? Propertyed woman. <laughs> In my shift, what does that mean? Okay, well, she's proud of her little stuff. Huh? She keeps it all covered up and stuff. Oh, she has a little harpsichord. Okay, so yes, no, it, I, the way he's all dressed up, I thought he was coming to scope her up, get her on this little wagon, because their little date was just supposed to catch her off guard right then and there, but no, they're, the Peter, they just, no. Okay, yeah, they're just doing paperwork. <laughs> yeah, oh, he needs an answer. Why was she all pissed off before... I, okay. Saying that she goes for it. So this is Sean, no? Where is this little wagon? Are they just going to go for a walk and this dude has to be a part of it too? I thought he said he had to negotiate with her brother. Is that what they're coming to do right now? Oh, she's ready. Yeah, look, she's ready now. He's not all dressed up. Shun.
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, so she's not gonna wait for him to come and answer the door? Oh, okay, we would like a word with your brother. I don't... she have to be called the spinster every time? She had a bachelorette, she's a spinster. Will she do that? Oh, okay, she left. She doesn't have a father him. <laughs> the matchmaker. Oh, he said dead. Oh, he just read him. If you say three, you'll never hear him count it. What, he said he, did he just tell the fool he will knock him? He's going to KO him because he won't be getting up by the count of ten. Oh, she was ready to go. Oh, this is, bless his heart, he's going through all of this little protocol straight to, because he wants to get married to her. Oh, uh, you know, he ain't gonna settle for that. Um, he was blaspheming the holy water. He's, he's just done with this shit. You know that ain't gonna stop him from... <laughs> he's done. That's all. Like, this is not over, but he's just done going through this little um, ceremony about it. <clears throat> right? I mean, I don't know. At the exact same time, it is Ireland. Oh. Okay. So he's just riding his horse really crazy. So he is respecting it. Oh. Do they not get to talk to each other? In passing either? Because he said that we were gonna get, we're gonna get married. It was not just about a date. So he's got a black stallion that he rides crazy. And you?
The father? Wow, what y'all trying to do? Okay, her brother. What a waste of time. Yeah, like, I mean, if they want to get married and her stupid brother is saying no, and he's just riding his horse crazy, right next door to her, too. So this is just a race for little Innisfree. I mean, they do things here. Oh, was he practicing for this? Riding that horse all crazy like that? So, I mean, when he first got there, why do you want to go to Innisfree? Well, it's like they do things. They have their own little race. Okay, I feel like I do remember this. I don't recall maybe ever watching this movie all the way through. And I was wondering why is there like tension here? But it's very clear now. doesn't mean to do that. Oh. Well, yeah, what does it signify to put your bonnet up? I, was, I thought that was the reverend. I was like, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh-huh, this idiot, huh? So they're doing this. Okay, so he said, all right, I'll go for the... For the widow's bonnet. Oh, that's what the advice for the father? So, yeah, again, what is the significance of putting up one's bonnet? Oh, well, she's fresh, huh? The widow. It means something. Shameless. Huh? All right, right, she's just crazy. She don't take no mess, huh? So she doesn't like what that signifies. It makes her look desperate or 
available or like she's up for auction she just doesn't like what it represents Okay, when they said everybody that was a part of this, is the widow a part of it too? Oh, because she just came over and um, read Mary Kate. <laughs> Two women in the house and one a redhead. Is this their only indication to go? Yeah, he didn't know that meant to go. So, where is this race going? This is cool scenery, wow. They're right there at the ocean like that? Wow. You know I'm watching for these horses. I better not see one of them get hurt. But yeah, no, Sean has been riding his horse all crazy like this anyway. Who's all the way in the back like that? Is that Sean? And is there still somebody coming way in the back? Or is he caught up a bit now? Donna Hart just seems to be um, pretty much a jerk to everybody. And again, they called him Esquire, so is he... That's a lawyer. Oh, is that Donna Hart? Well, it isn't Sean. Is this it? Is it almost over? They just go around once? Father Paul? Who's that? The Reverend? Oh no, that's that lady's son. We saw him. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the end. And then they just grab a Ladies' bonnet. Oh, and nobody will get Mary Kate's. <gasps> oh. Are they going back to her? Yeah, I got run. He took the widow's bonnet. Ooh, that's she didn't want to put it up there anyway. Did he win? So um, we read the book and. It said he's a boxer, right? But we haven't heard that in this movie yet. 
So what does it mean because he grabbed her bonnet? Do they have to, like, go on a date now or something? Those poor horses are very, um... Oh. To be his little matchmaker. So, okay, who, that's, Sean? I thought we were seeing a scene. Of the, of Dana, her, and the widow. What is that? I mean, he's down. Well, the, the town comes up. <laughs> he's just trying to help her. Oh, okay. I'm like, well, does somebody help her up, though? Wow, they have to be back to back. The, wow, the ceremony. The whole town is there. Oh, this is a little innocent. They are all celebrating. Are they going to trail along the whole time? Who is this man in between? Those two. Okay, because that's definitely what I thought was the next scene that we were going to see is Danaher and the Widow doing their little thing, but okay. Mary Kate and Sean get to do it. Are they like? Are they both going through the ceremony? Do they get to talk? Oh, this is a little sightseeing tour. <laughs> How come they don't talk to each other? Like, are they allowed to, or? Oh, okay. <laughs> is he allowed to help her down? I. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, he was about to, like, swing her out of there. It is a high step. She needs help out. Okay, gosh. I mean, and they have already not been supervised, right? Walking properly. Okay. Oh, well, I don't know if their hands both have to be behind both of their backs. This is gorgeous, right? This is just gorgeous.
<laughs> this movie is too much with that, um, hitting the woman. Yeah, girl. Hairline trigger. Yeah, no, it's yeah, the truth. But he can't hear it. He's very fresh with her. Oh, are they allowed to be holding hands? Walk a healthy mile or so to learn how to walk properly. Okay, this is going to be scandal. Did they lose him? The horse did stop. <laughs> Well, okay, her brother has consented to them courting. So that's what they're doing. I mean, like, first step toward getting married, right? I mean, does that mean he's consented to them getting married? Because, like, I don't know that this is actually as um, scandalous as if, you know, her brother hadn't consented. You know what I mean? I, I, immediately when he didn't give his consent I was like oh Sean is not gonna allow that to stop him but he did he respected it okay Mary Kate She's just used to being barefoot. I mean, that's she was barefoot when he first met her. Where is she leading him to? And I was wondering if she'd put her stockings back on. No. Is he going to throw that out? Okay, Sean. Okay, well, they have gone very far away um, alone. What is this? A cemetery? Yeah.
Yeah, that weather seems to come out of nowhere. Okay, so she said so much the worse for you, meaning I, I will be the handful of your life for the rest of it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Is this in a studio or for real? Okay, yeah, Mary Kate is definitely feeling Sean, right? Like, okay, they rushed it along. <laughs> okay, I get it. I'm like, why is that the face? That's cute. Okay, so there. this is their wedding day. Is this her little harpsichord? Is this in her house? It sounds like a piano. Oh. Okay, those were the people in on the conspiracy. Yeah. The proprieties. Of Okay, they have to see her fortune. Well, they gotta get a little receipt. They're gonna certify it. He's not Esquire, he's Squire. I don't know what the significance is, but his little title means. But he gets the floor.
<laughs> what is he trying to say? Like, it's just... <coughs> this whole thought that they were um, all speaking on behalf of that lady He killed somebody in a fight. He just got knocked out because he slapped Mary Kate's hand like that. So, wow, this happened. Did he rush straight over to Innisfree after this? Wow. Oh, yeah, he got a black mark on his name there in America. Wow, like, he probably couldn't have kept on fighting, huh? That's cool cinematography right there. That was really cool lighting. Her brother was looking forward to doing that too. What's she all on guard for? He's not standing there. So his little cottage. And she is just right next door to her brother. So he didn't let, her brother didn't let her take the coins, her furniture in here.
fair enough. I mean, Mary Kate, I mean, you're being very materialistic. Um, and that house has everything it needs in it right then and there. It is a strong principle for her. What, what is she out of the house for? Okay, so this is the reason why she doesn't consider herself a married woman. Okay, Mary Kate. I mean, she's just... Oh, she thought he was out there. Oh, she don't want people to know. Oh, he slept in his little sleeping bag. Don't be shaming me in front of your friends. Oh, is this all for shit? Her stuff? You gotta look like that's where he's coming from.
I mean, in a way, of course, we get it. Like, she's going to be a housewife. This dynamic between her and John Wayne, but there's some movie where he's in the military. They had a son. The son is grown, going into the military. Okay, so this is as much as she got. She didn't get the 350. So she is not going to be okay with all of this stuff and not the 350. Yeah, is not tripping about your fortune, girl. Anyway, in that other movie, they have a grown son, and he, like, John Wayne, and then he leaves for the life of the boy, and now they're meeting each other all together as he's coming into the military, and he apologizes to her. Oh, yeah, he sees what's up. Anyway, this dynamic... It's intense with them, right? Because it's like, okay. And it will be like this shortly. I do remember that in this movie. <laughs> Let's pay attention to, like, exactly what she says to him. <laughs> but in that other movie, like, again, he apologizes to her about basically the fact that she has his son. So she has all of her things minus the 350 in gold coins and it is still not enough for her. Look at what is she tripping about right now? She looks like she's getting happy. I was talking so much over some of the stuff because what did what was it that he said or did that made her question who she's just married? Oh, okay, so he's out working the land. I guess he was saying like he don't give enough about the fact that she didn't get the three fifty in coins. Was it three fifty three hundred? What is needing to be waited for still? I, I was tripping on how intense this dynamic always is with the two of them.
again, um, because I was talking about this, did I miss, like, what is still not set up between these two? Oh, right, I thought she didn't come running for honking. So he obviously has, like, the money that they need. Like, for, he could have been buying a tractor just now. He, he's going to keep it green. He don't want to pollute this beautiful environment. But, yeah, it's, like, not a problem to him, the money that they need. She's just really principled, right? Like, she's a housewife. She definitely wanted her family's furniture. That's her role of which she's supposed to bring. Right, like, you, it's very much, I do get this from her, it's very much about the principle of what she is supposed to bring to the table. And she's, I don't know, she said something about how I wouldn't be showing up to him in my shift. I don't understand what the F that means, but... <clears throat> she's supposed to come to him with this 300, 350 in gold coins, too. Like, that's just going to be her share of anything that they need for any rainy day, right? Like, it ain't going to be to pay the mortgage. It ain't going to be to buy the groceries. It's just for anything they need for a rainy day. Uh oh. <clears throat> About what is he buying the, the pints? What's he celebrating about? Huh? Um. Come on now. I don't think that he's going to come around. Like, right now, he ain't writing up to, um, or going to walk up to her brother about this money thing, right? Oh, yeah. What he just realizes is that he's got the good five miles um, walk home. So he's just coming straight home. Yeah, he didn't go to talk to her brother. That's what he, she just left him walking. <laughs> I had a car that used to always leave me walking, and that's what... Wow, he's just coming straight home, okay? He's, he let her leave like that and didn't really have much to say about it, but he is coming straight home. <clears throat> Does she stop and go back and get him? Oh, no, she sees the father. I think I got it right in the thumbnail and the little intro video for the movie. I did a search on Innisfree and I saw this little stream. I do believe this is the stream that we're looking at in my thumbnail and the little video clip at the beginning of the movie here. Oh shit, yeah girl, you need to go work it out with the pastor, the father. He lost the fish. <clears throat> I 
And she knows she is inside out of her. She doesn't know how to get out of this. I think she calls him a fool. She's like, keep his head up, you fool. <laughs> Does he lose him? She's bad. She's okay. I mean, she's really bad because this shit right here is not okay. I mean, she just needed to talk to the father, but she does not need to also have the fact that she just left him walking like this, too. Mary Kate, I, she said. Too bad for you, Sean Thornton, because I feel the same way about you, too, fool. You're my man, and I will be more than a handful for you for the rest of your life. Why are they it's sounding like somebody died? Oh, is Sean coming? Is he about to come in here? Or is he going straight home? I mean, cause like, this is like awake right now. What is going on? Okay. Basically, the last time they saw each other, oh, this fool knocked his ass out the money. <coughs> oh, no, it doesn't really matter about that. Oh, uh, fool. <laughs> If you sucker punch him, you got him down on the ground. But yeah, I mean, he's not really trying to fight this fool. Okay, you ain't gonna just call him out of his name, like, forever. What is, what is the problem? Just that there's so much animosity between these two. Um. Oh, he don't want to hit 
the whole. Did he hit anybody yet? Oh, please. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, because you need to step out. Yeah, okay. He hasn't hit anybody yet, right? John Wayne. And it's because he thinks he kills people when he does that. Okay, it's about... Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, they read that for us. Like, we are very clear. That's what you went in there to do? Okay, well, damn. Well, the fight should have been stopped. Huh? Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it, yeah. It is in perspective, uh, but uh, you know what? Okay, yeah, break it down to us. Let's help us understand. Okay. Well, here's a... <laughs> he's not sure. He can't fight in this. He's mad enough to kill. Okay, yeah, there are a lot of churches, it seems like. That is true. We did knock your ass out. <laughs> and he does have weight on him, too. Okay, I mean, that's what they're already saying. Like, he's you got 20 pounds on him. Down on her. Oh, he was, he was a little lightweight. Is that where it's at? I mean, he's still got to get home to this chick. Oh, yeah, is she going to be acting right for him to walk in the door? Making him sleep in a bag, leaving his ass in town.
He's calmed it. He gets it. I think he's got it in perspective what she's tripping about so hard beyond, like, money. Oh, she gave him a stick for her? That's right, girl. In their little culture, yeah, you you know you needed to go get a switch, huh? <laughs> Um, all right. Well, did you make some for him? I she was talking to the father. Is she still holding on to because she don't have this these coins? She ain't a married woman yet. And he's trying to understand that about her. What is she ashamed about? It's the money. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh. <clears throat> so, okay. <laughs> so it's it's legit about this money. What's this little theme song? <laughs> she slipped. Okay, she slipped up. And it is the principle if she doesn't have the money that she's providing, she needs to provide. So she just has a shame now. holding up this train so that Sean can get her. Are they, I mean, they are about all to be in on this. But I, I believe this train is waiting for this right here. Hello, no. <laughs> Girl, no, you know. 
of you were, um, you saw the little attitude she had to get into her little compartment because she had not seen him yet. And he's done playing with her. Mm -mm, yep. If it means what they hope it means. Do they want to see this fight? Oh, he finally... Oh, okay. The father. <coughs> they're going to hoof it uh, wherever they're going to. With the town. This little Innisfree. It's actually quite a ways away from there, though, right? <laughs> it is a long way huh? because this dude had a little buggy to get Sean Two are gonna like fight for. I guess they're just like in support of the marriage working out and lasting and having a fighting chance, because like it, this little issue needs to be resolved in order for that. But like, watch um, how I said their little culture is about the women getting hit. He said, "Don't." hit your man until he can hit you back. <laughs> Here's a stick to beat the lovely lady. I, yeah, he is, he don't care. I, that's his wife now. Where does the stick come in? But I love, the, I, no, you don't get, oh. <laughs> does, she, does she try and hit him? I. <laughs> yeah, there she goes. Oh, that was the lookout that they're on the way. This is such a trip. Is he still the quiet man? He's is he still all where he was quiet and peace loving, right? That was his <laughs> his moniker. Oh, they're gone to tea. They're gone to go get this tea. You know what? Stop. Oh, I was like, are they blocking him? No, they're just... Okay. Oh, she's trying to act like she's weird. They have probably come 12 miles because this is what Mikaline had his little Becky for to drive Sean from the train station to Innisfree. They aren't anywhere in Innisfree yet. His in-laws and the whole town down. <laughs> it's just a good stretch of your legs. Her brother, does he care right now that that's the way she's getting tossed around? 
Now that she's his wife, huh? Three fifty, yeah. Oh, Danaher loves it that all these people are here. <laughs> She wasn't expecting that. Look at her. Yeah, girl, you've been acting up so bad. Well, she wasn't expecting that. Um. This girl. Oh. No, okay, who loved it? Her. She's too much uh, for the rest of his life. More than a handful. He ain't ever gonna be able to keep up with her. He better have burned that money home. I cover him. Will he always be sucker punching him home? Is he ready to go now? This fool ain't gonna just always be sucker punching him. <laughs> I. This has got to be a real fight between these two, Victor McLaughlin. Fairbanks Jr. said he almost killed him because he really hit him in Gungadeen. Yeah, no, this must be real. Yes, this is real. These are not doubles. I... Maybe that was... Oh yeah, too many people were getting in on it. Uh, he's gonna put some rules on this, right? <laughs> this movie is a trip, dude. of Queensberry rules. Okay. They're not trying to break it up, right? Like, what? Sucker punch. 
something. Or, as long as they're doing Marquis of Queensbury rules. The <laughs> bishop in Emmerbeck. Oh, that's Danbury. Yeah. Danbury. Wow. What are these rules? Like, when is this? When's it gonna be over? Oh, I, oh. So this dude didn't get in on it? Is he asleep? <laughs> he just spit out a tooth.
Oh, well, are they just gonna start it up and here I am? The theater. I... Oh, that did it? There's a smile. Okay, I was going to say have it quick enough, but like, she's got it. <laughs> okay. Who is it? When the Reverend Mr. Playfair comes down with what? Oh, that's nice. Oh, how come they get to sit on the same side together? What a hot mess, but it, yeah, this, we love it. <laughs> like and subscribe. 
this is what we're doing for the next about eight movies. So you guys will want to be subscribed. You're going to want to be able to hop on these. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.